Greetings and hallucinations, ladies and lads. I am Chancellor of the Harmonious Frequencies of the Mighty Empire of Onion. And this is Kenshi. Well, Koth and Psychopathic are just standing here having a chat. It's good. Dr. Chung is waiting on uh, research materials because we don't have any books. Research artifacts, I should say. Uh, it's a bit sad, but that's the way it goes. We have a whole load of weapons that we're trying to break down, and then storage of uh, various materials. I was thinking about having uh, storage for armor plating, and we might have to do that sometime in the future. I totally forgot what even was in here. Looks like we've got building material, armor plating, some more fabrics as well, which I didn't realize. I think... In fact, I'm certain that we have enough uh, fabrics for sleeping bag. Maybe two. Let's grab up those. Uh, the animal skin will get put away. We'll put this away too because it annoys me it's in the wrong place. Yep, let's put the skin away immediately. Put the fabrics away in there. And he grabbed the building materials. Perfect. Well done, Sarks. Proud of you, buddy. Alright, go ahead and grab all of these up as well. Nice, and he's going to go put those away in the medical bench, and then you can go ahead and use this as well. So we'll have a sleeping bag made up for the next time that we go out. Uh, looks like Mew is still healing up a little bit. Matt has a ways to go on his stomach. Uh, Beep is pretty messed up, his left arm especially. And then Shrike is going to be healed up uh, pretty soon. So we won't have super long to wait. Uh, Beep will be the one that holds us up the most, I think. He doesn't have quite as far to heal up as uh, Matt does. Why is his head at 125, I wonder? His arcs is all at 80. Beep is at 75 for everything except for his head. That's pretty interesting. And yeah, Mew is up already. Oh, he's finally got one. A regular sized Steve's backpack. That's wonderful. We'll give this to Shrike. Yeah, it's not too expensive. So go ahead and trade with her. Yeah, she has the small Steve's backpack. We'll swap that over. And actually, Matt, you could put that on. Just to give yourself a little extra carry capacity. And Shrike, it says you're not doing anything. But you're clearly... Oh, I thought she was standing up right here. Must have been this guy. Lady. Gal. Whatever. It's fine. So I get the sinking feeling that, um... I forgot to pick up one of our backpacks last time. It doesn't seem like we have the scavenger's backpack anymore. Right? Large. Yeah, it was, uh, Psychopathic was carrying it before. Beep has his little one, and it was full of meat, too. So now the only meat that we have is on Ruka here. I'll be surprised uh, if it's still there, but if it is still there, it's going to be on the way back to um, Squin, which is where I was planning on heading this time anyway. I don't think I stored it away anywhere. It's not here. Beep and Shrike, I think, are on their way. Yeah. What's out here getting killed? Oh, bone dogs? Okay. Um, but yeah, I don't think anybody left it here either. So it must be on the ground uh, somewhere on the way back to Squin. I guess that will be our first uh, adventure. I'll follow him along and see if we can find it on the way. Uh, we don't have enough time to get there in order to steal anything. But, um, yeah, we'll start heading that direction to see how we go. Uh, we may... Yeah, Koth and Psychopathic still have some things to sell. And so, um, we're going to have to find a place to do that at. Squin is fine. Uh, we might be able to go to Stack. I just hesitate for that since we have... Uh, non-humans. Admag is another one that we might head over to to, to thief from. That uh, would be fine. We could stop in at these high villages and get some uh, 
some hash. Sell that elsewhere. We'll see how it goes. Pierce Psychopathic has gotten stuck somehow. We got him though. Oh yeah, here it is. Scavenger's basket. Perfect. Psychopathic, I believe you don't have anything. So grab that up, put it on. Lo and behold, we have all of our food back. Whoa, that makes me feel so good. I was worried because of all of those uh, research artifacts that we dropped uh, back at the base that disappeared. Uh, just vanished completely. So pretty thrilled that we were able to pick this back up. I know why I forgot it, because I was over here looking at the the big part of the battle and just didn't notice it being over there. Okay, so we were able to sell most of the stuff that we stole uh, off of the dust bandits, so that's fine. Uh, we still can't sell this, this, or these here, which is perfectly fine. Uh, I need to take a quick look around again and make sure that everybody has standard armor. Standard grade uh, pants are better. Okay, so we were able to sort a little bit. Shrike actually needed pants, and I went ahead and gave her the shoddy grade medium armor. Because uh, it was better than her uh, light armor shoddy grade drifter's boots, which is perfectly fine. And we ought to be able to build some drifter armor a little bit later on. Uh, but yeah, now Koth can finish selling the rest of his goodies, uh, which would be these boots mostly. And this helmet. Oh, I didn't actually check helmets. Okay, so we're done here. We'll head over to AdMag and see if we can get there by the time it's... Uh, time to steal things. This will help continue to work on our uh, athletic skills as well. Okay, here we are. We are at AdMeg. We're here a bit early, so I think what I'm going to do is stealth around town so everybody can work on their sneak skill. Beep got lost for a second. Uh, but Shrike especially needs to learn. Koth is just fine. This will be good practice for them, though. Okay. It's about midnight. A little bit after. This place here is guarded. There's only, it looks like, three shops in town. Uh, if this place is guarded, he can probably see over here. There's a guy standing right here, too, though. Uh, so the general goods trader is about the best place for us to go. Let me, uh, I should have done this earlier. Yeah, Koth needs to get rid of these two items here. So the town only has one gate. It's over here at the front. We'll send everybody out except for Koth and Shrike. And we'll see if we can get into this uh, trade good shop over here. Okay, this pack beast is a little frustrating, but uh, we should be okay here. Go ahead and pick this lock. Make sure there's no traveling guards. Okay, success. Go ahead and open it. Wow, there's a guy standing right here. Uh, come back outside. Wonder why he hasn't gone to sleep yet at one o'clock in the morning. Yeah, he's just standing there. I don't think Koth has a chance. Oh, 94% chance to uh, take him down. That's risky, though. We're going to try it, of course. Okay. Yeah, there's another one right there, too. Oh, no. Oh, it's that... Stupid pack mule thing. Wow. Should walk all the way in to do that. That's alright. Okay, so. What do we have available to us? Not much. Goth, what's your chance to take this guy down? 81. I don't understand why they're still awake, if I'm totally honest. At 1 o'clock in the morning, you would think they would have gone to sleep by now. Rum barrels. 
booze barrels. I don't think we'll need anything out of those. Uh, Shrike, you could probably check this guy. See if he's got anything good. Yeah, stealing chance 100%. Shoddy grade armor. And it's heavy armor too, which would wear down pretty bad. Take these just for thievery XP. Some fabrics and stuff around the corner that we will want to take a look at. Go ahead and check this crate. And then Koth, come over here and try to uh, assassinate this guy. Oh, that's right, Koth is just that fast. Okay, we got him. Wheat straw we don't need to worry about. Cactus I will take uh, because we need it for researching cactus. We'll take the cotton as well. Iron plates I'm definitely taking. So that's all very good. Do we have anything over here that I need? Fabrics. So we'll grab that too. Uh, that's raw iron storage. And he has one of these. Shoddy grade armor and stuff too. Okay. I'll go ahead and take this. It's worth over a thousand and he'll be stuck uh, doing um, martial arts because of that. Okay. Shrike is so slow uh, walking around in here. Koth will have this whole place looted. Here we go. Um, before she even knows what's going on. I really want to take this water. Take that. These cats. Out of trading range. How? If you're able, able to take an entire jug of water, how are you out of trading range for these cats? That's what I would like to know. Okay, we got some more iron plates. She did find some chainmail sheets here, but 52%. Okay, she got them. I'm really bothered by her how low her chance is to steal these things. It's pretty annoying. Let's see if she can pick this lock. What's this? Chainmail. That's building materials. Let's check this barrel. More building materials. I kind of want to take this hemp. I think it's regular hemp, though. It's not fabric. Otherwise, it would be called fabric. And we don't have a loom set up right now or any other way to uh, make fabric. Here's some fabrics. Did I get... I haven't gotten two cactuses yet. This will be two. Perfect. Was that from this? Alright. Check the bread basket. Nothing. This. Nothing. Okay. And go ahead and try to pick this lock then. Actually, Shrike, I think there was a couple of fabrics to pick up here. Now you can work on this one. Okay. Ton of electrical components, which we don't need. Simple rug. Basic for the floor. She needs the XPs. Caught stealing. A rug. Gross. Okay. Got it. Got it. Awesome. Uh, try picking this lock. 5% chance. Let's see. That's somebody. Okay. Uh, I think we're going to have to leave now. Leave, I said. Wait, did he go back to sleep? Is there anything good up here? Fabrics. Tools. Building materials. Weapon cabinets. And a safe. Huh. Okay, Shrike. Uh, keep working on this. And Koth, we're going to get uh, super crazy with you. Come up here and grab these fabrics. There. That figures. 
some building materials. No chainmail sheets. Now what's this at? 6%. Wow. It would be nearly impossible to uh, get that picked, even with his skill. Okay, well we got some extra fabrics at least, so that's good. Go ahead and drop back down here and try to work on this lock. It's not much better than the one upstairs, but maybe we can do something with it. These two guards are still asleep. Oh, I say that. One of them starts waking up. It means the other one will wake up soon. What's he saying? Going to bed. Wonderful. Wonderful. And this guy, static guard. Let's see him go to bed also. That would be the dream. No? He's just going to stand there? Okay. That's fine. We will let him stand there then. Okay. Koth finally unlocked his safe. Fantastic. And there's nothing in here. Uh, let's take those bits. The rest of this we will leave, I think. Okay, Shrike has finally uh, lockpicked this thing. 43% chance. That's disgusting. Uh, can we assassinate this guy? I'm sorry if you can hear the dog barking in the background. It's really annoying me. He's lost his absolute mind, and I do not know why. He's got 65% chance. Okay. We got those. I don't think we need the steel bars. We haven't gotten caught yet, and we've cleaned this place out, so I think it's time that we get out of here before uh, we cause too much more trouble for ourselves. Okay. Yeah, we did check that one, so that's fine. Oh, it's the pack mule. That's fine also. Yeah, Koth will close the door. Okay. Now, the guard left this place unattended, but I don't think that matters because this guy is over here. Yeah, it's 4 o'clock in the morning, so people are going to start getting up and milling about. I don't think it's worth it to try to break in here. And since we're weighted down with goodies right now, uh, we need to just get out, I think. Shrike, you're way too slow uh, sneaking, so just get up and get out. Okay, I was considering uh, letting Shrike give her stuff to somebody else, but I don't think I am. Uh, I think she's going to keep her stuff, and in fact, we're probably going to give her some more stuff so that she can work on her uh, strength. Okay, I can't remember what's at this ruin here, so we'll go investigate it again, uh, whether it's Iron plates, or maybe a couple of uh, research artifacts. It'll be good to at least check it out and remind myself. Well, it wasn't worth coming up here, that's for sure. Uh, there's fabrics, but that is about it. I think Shrike's full on goodies, isn't she? Yeah. So, Beep, how about you come and pick up the fabrics? Good. I think we'll head to this way station, and then on our way down uh, to this swamp village, we'll see if we can uh, do a little bit of thievery down around this area. Uh, it's a bit risky, but I don't know. Maybe it's worth a shot. Oh no, I did not see them in time, and now we have a load of bone dogs coming at us. A lot of them. Several of them are pups, but they're still more than what I'm comfortable dealing with. This is very troubling. Don't know why Ruka ran so far away. Uh, she's trying to one-on-one -on -one this guy, though. I see a lot of green happening, except for poor Ruka, who's apparently not fast enough to attack that guy. She got one hit in. She's been hit a lot, but it's not doing a lot of damage. Psychopathic's leg is a little busted. Oh no, Shrike is off on her own. Yeah, 
Shrike is down. Uh, we're winning, though, thankfully. Yeah, Ruka's back over here with us. This is going to be a lot of good meat, though. Oh, the pup is back. Let's see. Matt, I want you to work on this guy. There. Okay. Ruka, where are you going? All right. Good. Um, yeah. So we're going to have to get all these backpacks sorted again. Oh, one of them's gotten up again. Come on, guys. Nice. Trying to get uh, Ruka to butcher them out really quickly so that we don't have to worry about that. It's not going quite as quickly as I had planned, but it's getting done. Okay, Shrike is just now getting up. I was thinking about going ahead and camping uh, so I could let her rest. But if she's up... Yeah, she and Psychopathic are the slow ones now. I went ahead and gave Mew all of the uh, other goodies, the teeth and the animal skins, so that um, she could carry them all, because she has the trader backpack. So it just makes sense uh, to give her the stacks of items. And, let's see, nine. Yeah, I only count nine corpses, so that should be it. Alright, let's continue then. Try to make it to the next place. And now we're being attacked by skin spiders. We haven't even gone five steps. Uh, this is pretty abysmal. Not at all what I need to be happening right now. Psychopathic and Shrike are the worse off, but everybody's pretty wounded. Come on, guys. It's three of them only right now, so we'll see how it goes. I've heard skin spiders aren't as bad as blood spiders. Oh, wow. Matt's down. One down. Go, Beep. I see you back there, buddy. Oh, Beep's down. Okay, two. Nice. Bring back hideous memories. Unseeable memories. Okay. Uh, looks like they don't have meat on them, which is horrible. Yeah, go ahead and take these claws, though. Uh, nope. Was there a closer? I guess not. We want to make sure they don't get back up, though. Okay. Okay, now we are all pretty beat up, except for Ruka. Her left leg is wounded, but uh, other than that, she's pretty good. Mew is in good shape, too. But everybody else is pretty messed up, to be honest. So, second thought, we head to the way station, and then we head back to the hub. Um, we'll head to the way station just so that we can sell a couple of things. Those teeth and animal um, animal parts. Well, yeah, the teeth, the claws, um, and the couple of armor pieces that we couldn't sell elsewhere. And then we'll head back to the hub uh, to get some rest and heal up a bit. Man, we're in rough shape. Toughness of 9, that's... That's uh, Shrike herself. Beep is up to 14 toughness. So, it's helping us. But, wow. Rough times. Ah. There was actually a uh, skin spider that came up here. And attacked them. So, yeah. Getting into town just in time. It's good. Uh, I had Matt pick up Mute. Uh, just to work on his strength. Because he's... Out of my big-time fighters, uh, he's got the lowest strength right now. Okay. Uh, then, yeah, everybody's following Psychopathic because he turned out to be a hair slower uh, than everyone else. He and Beep were actually taking up the rear. Welcome, new customer. Yeah, we are kind of new. I know that we've been here before uh, one time, but... Um, 
That's fine. We're running out of meat. Uh, that much is absolutely certain. Of course, we just picked up a load from those uh, bone dogs, but I don't think it's going to be enough. We'll buy all of your meats, as a matter of fact. And then Mew has the uh, stuff we need to sell. Yeah, about it. Almost a thousand per stack in it. No, these are less. The claws were expensive. Those are quite a bit less. How much does he charge for this? 600? It's a little too expensive. We have the fabrics to finish up uh, making some more sleeping bags, so uh, we'll just take those back home. And then I think Koth it was still has the other armor. No. Here it is. Stolen goods, no problem. 446 for it. We'll get rid of it. 312, got rid of that too. Uh, we're not going to need these, I don't think. These are Saber class. Who else was using Sabers? Oh yeah, it's way better than hers. This one that Shrike has is the best one. So Mew, you get a new Saber. Girl. Uh, yeah, we'll take this one back to melt it down and all that. Should be fine. I don't think anybody else is using a saber. She's using a hacker. He's using blunt. He's got a hacker. I think no, this is heavy. Heavy blunt hacker saber. Uh, beep has blunt weapons. I mean, this hacker would be better for him. Saber. Sorry, I keep calling it the wrong thing. Yeah, but he would need a uh, much higher strength to really dish some damage out okay so that's all that we have to sell and then uh i think that's all we're buying also for now uh let's see this is a skeleton repair place i imagine and this place is it's way too bright and way too many people uh, to even think about robbing them for even a split second i mean i did but uh it was silly of me, too. All right, Koth, talk to this person and see what they're about. Ever need help smoothing things over with the Traders Guild? You know where to find me. Okay. Talk to this Shek, then. Cat? Uh, maybe. Tell me who you are. I think it's best you don't know too much. Um, not much of a story could tell you the truth, or I could make up a lie about myself. Use your intuition to judge people don't rely on their own hollow words. How much you charge? 3,000 cats? So you're... You've got terrible skills then, I imagine. Okay. We'll hire you. Awesome. So, if you want to be in the uh, game, let me know, and you can become cat here. Uh, female Shek, pretty good. Confirm. So she is one of us now. It's wonderful. This must be a shinobi, right? No, just a regular ninja. Uh, then who is this guy? Taco. Small recruitment fee. Plant. Looking to join up. 3,000 cats. Alright. Well, we got cat, so that's fine. And she's not going to have any skills. Yeah. She's terrible at everything, uh, which we fully expected. Okay, so you're actually going to um, pick up Mew then. And you're going to be working on your strength and other skills. So yeah, we're building up our team here. She might actually be faster than our wounded, wounded dudes. Uh, we'll see though. Yeah, she is. So we'll have everybody follow Psychopathic again. We'll get out of here and head back home. I think that's going to do it for this episode, though. Man, it was a rough one. Uh, yeah. Bit of combat there at the end. We didn't, um, we didn't actually steal nearly as much as I was hoping for. Hello, guys. You're going to get stuck behind the stairs, seriously? Kind of hilarious, because there was just a new update... Um, yesterday. Apparently, apparently it ruined uh, pathfinding abilities. And I'm going to have to pick them up to get them out. Amazing. Wow, she 
who's over there? I can't even pick up Goth. Aha! Now we got him. Wow, that was janky. Okay. Now put him back down then. And Matt, you're actually going to pick up... Go ahead and pick up Koth. So you can work on your strength some more. And then, yeah, everybody follow the psychopathic and let's head back to town. Okay, now it's going to be the end of the episode. Uh, that was super awkward. Uh, hopefully that doesn't happen again. Um... But I'm not going to hold my breath. That's it. And Matt is trying his best uh, to go get stuck again. Beep. Don't even think about it, buddy. There you go. Yeah. So let me know if you want to be in the game. Uh, we will hire you. I plan on collecting up a pretty good sized uh, crew and then we will go build well actually we'll probably go build um, our base before I get the whole crew set up I'm thinking about somewhere over here we haven't explored this side of the swamp yet um, but so far I don't see anybody here I imagine there is a town somewhere here um, if not here we'll build along this river somewhere uh, semi flat so that we can have a pretty big place um, somewhere where it's not arid and horrible. But yeah, that's going to do it for this episode. If you want to catch another one, be sure to subscribe. Consider supporting my channel through the Patreon link down in the video description. And feel free to check out any of my other videos or playlists that you might be interested in. I thank you so much for all the time that you spend on my channel, and I hope blessings of wisdom and peace on all of you. Farewell.